Welcome! In this short video, we demonstrate how Rodan Schwartz test instruments and Synopsys algorithm design and modeling tools can be used in conjunction to evaluate various RF and or baseband measures for a prototype or device under test. An important stage in the design process of a component of a communication system is the verification of its implementation. For this, we may need to measure baseband characteristics such as throughput of the system, as well as signal characteristics such as error vector magnitude. This can be achieved by using Roden Schwartz test instruments together with baseband models developed for Synopsys SPW or System Studio. In this video, we show an example of this solution for an LTE Release 9 system also known as dual layer beamforming. Rodan Schwartz SMU200 Vector Signal Generator generates standard compliant LTE Release 9 downlink signal. Settings can be given manually or derived from Synopsys SPW. Fading and noise are then added and this upconverted signal is fed into a device under test such as an RFIC. IQ data is then captured and stored from this device using Rodon Schwartz FSW signal analyzer. In this case, we use two FSWs, one for each layer of the dual layer beamforming system. IQ data from FSW is loaded automatically into Synopsys SPW using a TCPIP connection. SPW is used to demodulate and decode the data to perform block error rate analysis. As SPW knows what was sent, comparison can be done and the system throughput can be measured using a proprietary algorithm without the need for a feedback loop. Here you see a test setup similar to the one described in the previous slide. Rodon Schwartz SMU200 Vector Signal Generator is programmed to generate a dual layer beamforming signal. A 2x2 MIMO channel with fading and noise are then added and the signals are up converted to RF. Two Roden Schwartz FSW signal analyzers are then used to capture the RF signals received from each layer. Here you see the top view of the baseband model of an LTE Release 9 dual layer beamforming system developed on Synopsys SPW. IQ signals captured by Rodon Schwartz FSWs are read into SPW, timing acquisition is made, and DMRS reference symbols are used to generate channel estimates. These estimates are then used by the MIMO receiver algorithm to separate the received signals from the two layers. The modulation and decoding follows and throughput is measured. Using such a setup, one can couple baseband models developed on Synopsys SPW with Rodon Schwartz test instruments to measure various baseband as well as RF performance characteristics of a system. Thank you for your attention.